Technician Roger receives a call from a user who can't access the internal network or the internet. The user reports that staff in neighboring offices and cubicles appear to have no network problems at all. Roger reviews the notes from previous service to the user's computer and sees an entry showing that another technician answered a question that the user had asked about full duplex versus half duplex Ethernet functions. Roger goes to the office and checks the cable connection from the computer to the wall jack. The cable is plugged in at both ends, but the NIC displays neither link nor activity lights. Roger suspects that the full duplex mode has been changed. Roger launches Device Manager with a click on the Start button, a right click on Computer, and a left click on Properties. From there, he selects Device Manager from the upper left corner of the system applet. He expands the Network Adapters class and double clicks on the NIC that connects to the network. Roger selects the Advanced tab and checks the Speed and Duplex property. He notes that it's currently set to 100 megabits half duplex. The corporate standard is to use full duplex gigabit and client workstations are usually set to auto negotiate to achieve that configuration. Roger changes the speed and duplex value to auto and clicks OK to make the change. After waiting a moment, he checks if the workstation can access a server on the local network using Windows Explorer. Having success, he launches a browser and navigates to a website that the user would not normally visit. This prevents the browser from loading a locally cached version of the website. The site is reachable. Roger explains what he did to fix the computer and recommends that the user not experiment with advanced properties of network cards without some additional training. Roger returns to the tech center and updates the user's file. In the meantime, the happy user orders a gift certificate from Starbucks for Roger. Delicious!